Here we are in my dad's office. This is where he would spend most of his time if he wasn't at the kitchen table eating, which was one of his favorite things to do, or if he wasn't with the family, he would be up here in his office, you know, on Zoom calls, writing presentations, talking to distributors. This is where you could find him if you had a question. When I think about my dad and the most important things he would say about building a business or being an entrepreneur, he was so passionate about speaking positively. And he would say, if you say you can't, you can't. If you say you won't, you won't. But if you say you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. If you say you can, you can. We were so very lucky to have such a motivational figure present in our lives every day. He, he was a go-getter. I mean, anything you gave him to do, rather than run away from it like most people would do, he would just charge forward. And I, I think everybody needs more of that, not to be scared to just charge forward. Take it one step at a time, but charge forward. I want people to remember what a great, larger than life man he was. And I want to work with everyone to make sure his legacy lives on and people continue to be motivated by the messages he left and what he fought and worked for and the differences that he tried to make his whole life. I want people to remember that he always put family first, his integrity, and his goal in life was to make a difference. I know he would say to people, stay the course. Stay the course. He would call this a challenge. He would say, this is just another challenge. And he would want and expect everyone to remember the strength that he gave them um, and all the lessons that he taught them to keep going. He was the vitamin guy and he would drink isotonics with the little kids in the morning and they would get the, the caps as their little cups. And he would have a great big cup and they would all sit there and the little boys would say, Ma, 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 Diesel, and ask for more. He was so much fun. We did a family photo shoot for a Christmas card, uh, not this past summer, but the summer before. And we did it out by the lake. And in the end, him and I looked at each other and we said, we should all jump in the pool. My mom said, absolutely not. And he said, we're gonna do it, Nancy, you have to do it. And so the, the little boys, his grandsons, they weren't even two yet. And we held them up and we all jumped in and, it's one of my favorite photos and probably the last picture we have of our whole family all together. People in Market America used to call him Mr. Energy because he would get out on stage and dance and he would always pick a great song that reminded me of the songs they played in the, in the football stadiums when the football teams would run out on stage and they would get all pumped up and they'd jump up and down and they would clap their hands and and he would want, again, everybody to have fun while they were working and everybody to put great energy into their work. To keep my dad's legacy alive, there's a couple things I've come up with. Uh, the first is I've created an email address, memoriesofdennisfranks at gmail.com. And anyone that feels inspired to write a story about how Dennis motivated them, maybe a goal he helped them achieve. They have a photo they want to share and they want to send it to this email address. I will periodically go on the email address and take those stories and photos and post them to Dennis Frank's Instagram and Facebook in hopes that those stories will continue to motivate people. Something else I created, he wanted a, a, a scholarship fund. He wanted to be able to award scholarships 
to people that played sports but needed more money towards their education. So on GoFundMe, we created the Dennis Franks Memorial Scholarship Fund, which you can search and contribute to to help distribute scholarships in his name to um, sports players that, that need money towards their education.